Hi folks, <coughs> knife painting again. Uh, we've got uh, Payne's Grey, yellow, uh, red ochre, yellow ochre and some cad yellow because it's white. <coughs> so two four colours and we'll make up some sort of mountain scene. You can't see that, I can't see that either. Um, but I want a lot of sky, mountains coming down here and a bit of a stream. I, I don't, I want to see if this marker pin, oh that's better. something like that and then all right okay and then just some hills coming down here coming down here a bit of a mountain stream going through here I should use that more of that good idea now that should be dry now okay so knives uh, I'm mostly, I've got lots of knives, but uh, all these sort of tulip shaped knives, uh, but that's rather large that one, so I'm going to use uh, two of those, this, this one and the smaller one. Okay, right, so I'm going to have a bit of a, well, I want simple colours, plain. So, uh, sky, a bit of Payne's grey in the sky, and a bit of ochre. got a frame for this one it's, a, it's 14 by 11 just a fraction bigger so I'm going to have a sort of a bit of yellow ochre sky with a bit of Payne's grey and white I published on Facebook yesterday, the, I think it was yesterday, a photograph of my studio, the chaos I work in. And blow me, it's had more likes and loves than, my, than the paintings that are produced in it. So I think I, in future I'm going to just post pictures of my studio in various states of uh, chaos. So I take a little, oh, there's some lumps on there. I think there was an abstract painting on this one, and I've just gone over it. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's lost in the midst, midst of time. I've done many of these, but they're different. I've had stormy skies, clear skies. No, that's something, that's what I was trying to get off. I was, was stuck on it. 
don't know what's there. I can't say I like this now. You get used to, to a tool, I think you try and change it. It's too long really and too thin at the end, too tapered. Let's try a smaller one. That's the one. Get some uh, grey in there. Just roughly down here. I'm making this up, but I've done a lot of several, well, quite a few of them, let's say. Quite large. I, I've, I've done many larger, 20 by 16, 20 by 24 inches. That is. I'm, I'm a imperial man. Although, well, not imperial in the like conquering, but imperial measure, as is America. And, So a bit of gentle modelling. So there's not, not a lot to say what I'm doing. This huge sky. Oh, quite a burnt number there, right? Got a bit more of that in there. My my surface is a bit a bit bouncy. It's a bit of plywood. No, it's not. It's a bit of hardwood. 
and it's quite large, it's about 3 foot by 18 inches. Uh, ah, right. That's, ah, that's why. My table on top, sitting on top of the, uh, the box, part of the easel, was pulled out. Now, that's a bit too different from that, so... Right, we'll get a bit of harder colour on the top there. The uh, Payne's grey tends to go, or have a blue sort of tint to it. But it's mixed with white, which is good. Well, Payne's grey does contain blue. I think it's blue, um, black and, and alizarin. Not sure. Okay, that'll do. Right, now, we've got distance, so we're going to have plenty of paints grey. Plenty of red in this. So a bit of ochre in that as well. My great uh, knife painting hero is Catherine Williams. Although Ted Wesson did some lovely knife paintings. Quite slabby Welsh mountains or Snowdonia. Very beautiful. Good idea that pen from there. Ochre, red, both ochres here. Okay, so that's quite drab, isn't it? So let's uh,
Okay. Let's go over to that back now. We'll have a, uh, quite a chunk of, of Payne's Grey, but uh, much darker than the sky. It's a nice cool, cool colour. I think if you've never done this before, you, you'll be surprised just how enjoyable it is. Now, I'll have to take that bit into there, I think, because I'm going to struggle getting that right. So I'll, so I'll change. Oh, I've just had that little bit of uh, so a little bit of snow on there, maybe. Right, okay, let's go back to this uh, colour here. I uh, will. Okay. Right, now we'll uh, get this one in here. I think then we'll get that one. Then we'll see where we go. So warmer, this one I think. Darker than that, though, maybe. Gotta be prepared to use a lot of paint. Just creating an impression of distance. Not drabness, but although the colours are, are drab. But slowly we're, we're going to try to get in some aerial perspective to give that impression of, of distance. Now that's going to be lighter there, so now we're coming down. We'll, uh, Yeah, I want to count to change against that other this here. So we've got uh, so some dark in there. Oh, I do like doing this. OK. 
Okay, now we can go in with. Oh, that yellow's gone sort of solid. Because it hasn't been used. It's been out for a couple of days. I'll scrape it off and I'll uh, put out some more. Be careful when you wipe your, pull your knives through paper because you can, they get very, very sharp. They've got a clean cut and take ages to heal. All right, Cajello in the Cajello. I bought a tube of cadmium yellow pale about 20 years ago. I've still got it, it's still, still workable, just about. A little bit of red with that. Uh, we're just getting some shadow colour, look at the rocks. Oh, I'm doing this without my penny. So there's another layer, another sort of cliff coming down here, or hill coming down here. So we'll go in with uh, We're slowly coming into sort of uh, what should I say grassy a bit of red in there. Lovely colour this uh, red ochre. It's an artist's quality, it's the only artist's quality one I use. It'd be a good idea if you like this sort of paint of style, is, is to get a tube of Griffin White, Titanium White. Which is a, a fast dryer and it helps everything else to dry. Right, now we want bright, brilliant yellow. Uh, just catching a bit of uh, light.
Okay, let's get this bit done here now. So, well, lots of variety. Gotta get this county change here. Right. Let's get some green on the edge of that. Plain square in that has yellow. It's not showing. Right, let's get some darks back in there, darkish greeny, reds. Now quite going quite light there because I can put some dark green. What's a counter change? Some darker greens. Let's put some rocks in. Try to put a bit of variety in these colours. Okay, now let's get some of those rocks coming out into the water.
got loads of paper and then a roll of this. The tumbling water here is going to reflect more of the sky, what's above than what's below. Moved. So I give a bit of movement there. Good, yeah, bit by bit. Well, it's looking like a knife painting. Oops. I never come down here with some nice warm colours. Now we're coming into the bigger rocks now. Let's just get some paint on it we can model later. Well, when I say later, I mean minutes. So 
So I'm speeding up now because I'm getting hungry. Some of that yellow. I've done quite a few watercolours lately. I know my acrylic uh, followers are getting a bit restless. But Alright, let's get some definition in these rocks now. I might put some highlights on, on these. Get some trees, I think. Trees, summer greens. Plenty of that, and plenty of paint, paint grey. Shadow. using up paint now. Getting dark. I'm just go put the lights on. Excuse me. Ah, how was that? Ah. There's a lot of uh, red in my paint spray. It's not sort of black. Let's get some. Right, I don't think I want to do much more than that. Just tidy up some of that there. Get some of the background colour coming through. Right, I'll put that in a frame. Dismantle all this. Put that aside. Look at that white I've wasted. That. Now, if you want to contribute to these folks, you can always go on Patreon and Have a, have a look or we'll go on Etsy have a look at my paintings that have been on there for some time now right now I've got to uh, take that off 
I've got the frame ready to to go. It's only a only an Aquati uh, cheap cheapo, but it does for display taking photographs. I wouldn't use this uh, frame type of frame now for selling a picture like a, a gallery, but. Uh, If we just see what they're like in a frame, they're very useful. Two more. Okay, there we are. Let's uh, just Take that off, put that up there, oh god, oh that hurts to allow three of those. That one there, and I will bring the camera, sorry about we're bagging. Well, there we are. It's got, got a lot, lot in it. Illusion of detail. I'm not sure if I've got enough contrast in my tumbling stream. But we can, well, I'm, this is where we start working it to death. That's it, no more. It's where you can poke and prod to death, then you ruin it. It's spontaneous, and once you start fiddling with it, you start tightening the thing up, and it, it doesn't really work. So, so, I hope you like that one. I'll see you soon. Bye bye, folks. <laughs>